you should pay it off with the debt snowball. No, you should pay it off with the debt avalanche. Well, Dave says, oh, how do I know which one to do? Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and then go on over and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing because we're having fun all up in here. I know, I'm a dork. I don't need to emphasize that. Today, I wanted to talk to you about different payoff methods for paying off debt. Recently, I had a conversation with conversation. Recently, I had a conversation with Connie Porter, and she was texting me asking me which debt she should pay off first. Recently, I reached out to Wendy Valencia to ask her opinion about what I what debt I should focus on next. And I'll go ahead and link that down in the description box for you to check out. Um, I just adore Connie. We actually are doing a collab next week, so be sure to check that out. She was asking me one thing and I answered another thing. One of the reasons that I hate text and email because... Sometimes people ask you questions and you understand it one way and you miss intonation and it's just a whole thing. So my answer to Connie was basically, it really doesn't matter what you pay off. And that is legitimate, mean, legitimately, I am having issues talking today, y'all. That is legitimately my stance with paying off debt. Pick a plan, stick to a plan, and move forward. And here is why. I'm going to show you guys my undebted. And we started with $250,000 that we were going to be paying off if we paid it all off on time. And I want to show you that in undebted, there are seven different methods you can use to pay off your debt. And I'm going to show you our actual debt totals and why it really doesn't matter. And when you're talking about $250,000, you would think that the debt payoff method really would make a big difference, but mathematically, it really doesn't. Let me show you why. These total paid balances are balances based off of the day that I created my undebted account. By the time I created my undebted account, I think we had already paid off thirty-five dollars or $40,000, pretty close to it. So, um, so yeah, these numbers are based on like total payments made. Let me explain the seven different payoff methods that Undebtit uses. The first method is the debt snowball. The, you list your bills smallest to largest and you pay them off in order, taking the payment amount, the minimum payment amount for whatever you are putting on to your lowest debt and adding it to your next debt and creating the snowball. Everybody who follows Dave knows the snowball method. This method is what they recommend if you have lots of low balance debts that you wanna pay off faster rather than later. And this one is, as you can see, 71% of undebted members actually use this method. The next most popular method is the debt avalanche. The debt avalanche is based on math. So it takes your highest debt interest payments and your lowest debt interest payments and it ranks it. You pay off your highest debt first and then work to your lowest. And again, that adding your snowball going along. But um, what I want you to notice about those two methods, because these are the most common method, the amount you pay off is about $1,000 more for the debt snowball for me personally. And we have a lot, lot, lot of debt. The other thing I want you to notice is the amount of time it would take you to pay it off. There is only one month difference. And that last month in March or April is not a full month payment. So the next method is a hybrid method that Undebtit suggests, and it's based on your ratio of debt. So it takes a combination of the snowball and the avalanche and kind of massages it together to to pay off your highest ratios. This is good if you want to build your credit score, I'm guessing. Okay, the next one is the custom payoff 
I, the lowest number first, and that that goes based on calendar. Like if you paid minimum payments on this plan, which one would pay off first? The next one is the highest monthly payment plan. And you will notice for me that the highest monthly payment plan is actually less than a debt snowball in total paid and total interest rate. As you use this method, if you want to pay off debts with high monthly payments, which is exactly what Mauricio and I want to do. We have several extremely high monthly payments. This is good for people who need to free up cash. Then the next one is highest credit utilization. And this is for paying down debt accounts with high credit utilization. And this one really helps build your credit score. So if you are maxed out on like five different credit cards, this is the one that method that you would choose. And then the last one is highest monthly interest paid. And this is interest paid on most debt accounts not being tax deductible. So this method focuses on the not tax deductible accounts first. Based on what we are paying today, we are due to be debt free in 2021. That's a long time from now. So you can see the method down here in red is actually the method that we have chosen. It's the highest monthly payment. And the highest monthly payment is our largest loan. And we are actually paying that off first for two reasons. One, it frees up the most money so we can actually move out of my parents' house and live comfortably while paying off the rest of our debt. And two, it's the one that was going to be paid off first anyway. That's the method that we are using at this particular point in time. Now, I am a huge fan of the snowball and the motivation, but this big payment, the, our biggest loan is actually, even using the snowball method, is the one that's going to pay off first, no matter what. So we figured we'd just throw all our extra money at it and see if we can pay it off even faster. If you look across the board, all of the total debt paid are within pretty much thousand dollars of each other. These are the different methods and I guess my point to you is if you compare all of them, all seven are within a thousand dollars of each other and they're all within, most of them pay off at the exact same time. Actually the debt snowball takes a month longer, um, but it's a month. I mean when you're talking about the different payment methods, and $1,000 over the course of how much you are paying, it does not matter. What I am telling you is very anti-Dave, and I get that, and I totally understand. But the reason I, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I really wanted it to help you guys understand that it really is about picking a plan and sticking to it. And Dave's way, fantastic. For those of you with small, small debts that you can pay off first, do that. I cannot tell you how motivating it must be to actually pay off a small debt. Us, this, the, the debt snowball, it actually would not be more motivating. So we picked the plan that motivated us to get out of debt the fastest. And that's really what Dave is recommending. Pick the snowball method because you'll pay off all these little debts. But we are not, I will freely admit, we are not the typical Dave Ramsey followers. We're not. Our debts are not little credit cards. We don't have 21 credit cards. We don't have a JCPenney's credit card. We don't have those things. So we are not the typical date follower. So we are doing an atypical system. Doesn't make our system wrong. It just makes it different. And so I am telling you, pick a plan, stick to it. Did I mention pick a plan, stick to it? Because that's really all I want you to get from this is that in the end, the plan you pick does not matter. All of those people who are constantly condemning Dave for not following the math or whatever, it does not matter. I am showing you the math that yes, you will save $1,000 by not doing the debt snowball, but guess what? 
for you, motivation might be worth $1,000. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting up two videos for you to keep on watching. This video is my latest video. And this video is a video that YouTube picked just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.